Now we want to take a look at just a few properties of amines. The first is boiling point. So just to give us some things to compare, I'm going to draw a few molecules here. One propanol. And the amine. And a secondary amine. And a tertiary amine. Now what you'll notice here is that all of these have very similar molecular weights. And in order to do this type of comparison, we really need to be looking at similar molecular weight compounds. For these molecules, the experimental boiling points for the alcohol, 97 degrees Celsius. The primary amine, 48. The secondary, 37. And the tertiary, 3. Okay, now we want to explain this trend. So first, let's look at the tertiary amine. Well, this tertiary amine doesn't have any hydrogen. And if there's no hydrogen, it can't hydrogen bond. And hydrogen bond is the strongest of the three intermolecular forces that we talked about. Van der Waals, London dispersion, and hydrogen bonding. So we don't get that intermolecular force. But now if we look at the primary and secondary amines, these both can hydrogen bond as well as the alcohol. So that's why these all have a higher boiling point than the tertiary amine. Now if we compare the secondary and primary amines, we see that the primary amine has a slightly higher boiling point. And we can reason that just by the fact that there's two hydrogen to hydrogen bond. Okay, but the alcohol still has a higher boiling point than the primary amine. Um, just because it's a better hydrogen bond donor. Then if you had to compare something say these two, we're both dealing with primary amines. So what you look for here is this one on the right. Has a larger surface area, which means more van der Waals forces. And a higher boiling point. Also, it has um, much larger molecular weight. The next property um, we'll look at just briefly because it's not one we usually talk about, but it's um, such a characteristic property of amines it's hard to leave out, and that's the odor. So if you ever have to work with an amine, um, know that they have terrible odors. If you have a low molecular weight amine, um, it's, they're going to smell a little bit like ammonia, that uh, harsh, pungent smell of ammonia. Okay, on the other hand, if you have 
a higher molecular weight amine these tend to smell like rotten fish and then if you have to work with diamines they're even worse Just two examples. This diamine, um, because of its awful smell, it's given the common name putrescine. And if we add one more carbon to the chain, this diamine is known as cadaverine. And this is actually one of um, the odorous compounds that comes out of decomposing corpses.